Just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Carolina Panthers. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Young wasting no time right to the air. They'll get this to the rookie, Jonathan Mingo. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. What a start here to the ball game. You get the good kick return, followed by a quick first down through the air. If this defense isn't careful, they might be looking at deficit before they know what hit them. It's Young on first down. They're connecting here with D.J. Sharp. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. So, Charles, you take nothing away from this young man under center, because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well, see if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. To throw on second down is Young. And Sharp pulls it in. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Give him 32 on the play. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit them with some big pass plays early, it takes a starch right out of them. They'll run with Sanders. There's the stiff arm. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. It's larger than the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pick up there on first and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Sanders. We'll take this one in. Touchdown, Carolina. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. A pro bowler for the first time in 2022. Here's Tony Pollard. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And he's got his man in stride, complete. It'll be a gain of five, and now it's third and 
three. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he's able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? It looks like, yes, it is six defensive backs on the field for Carolina. They're going with a dime set. They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. A give to Pollard, running left. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain, so he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. They go back to Pollard on second down. A beautiful fake. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. A great run by Pollard, and runs like that have had us anticipating a breakout season from him for years. And it finally arrived in 2022. Dallas gave him more run, and he had his first 1,000-yard season despite receiving less than 200 touches. They'll go with Pollard here on first down, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Ball on the 27. Here's second and six. Now Prescott. Tight end over the middle. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. An ex teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Throwing. Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. To throw is Prescott. This is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. 
And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air. So now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. And Young's throw there incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 11 yards and a Panther first down. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. Now a first down throw for Young. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave it with a second and just a few inches left. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. That one into the hands of Thielen complete. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Here's Young from the shotgun. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. It'll be Young again. Open man is Mingo, complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Young now from the 50. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just help receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. DJ Chark in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. That is a near perfect end of half drive right there. And we've seen that many times from the best in the league. But do you really expect to see it done that well by a rookie? And how about the timing? Finishing it almost near the zeros, as you said, right at the end of the half. Great momentum to carry into the locker room.
time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, this fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now second and seven from the 23. They'll run left with Pollard. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Two yards still to go, third down now. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Nifty move. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Going to run again here with Pollard. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. That's got this one complete to Pollard. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Now Prescott. And this one quickly to Lamb. And Lamb going to have a Cowboys first down as the tackle made at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Pollard will take it up the gut, and he'll get this one down to about the 17. It was Justin Houston who got him down. Three quarters have come and gone. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now in Charlotte. Now second and nine. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. 
A second down throw for Prescott. That is caught inside the five. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Pollard will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the one. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. To me, that's a terrific run on first and goal of the three. They got two yards. I'd line right back up and give it to him again. Second and goal from the one. Pollard again. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Now for the point after. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That ties the game at 14. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, by the time in this fourth quarter, the turn that lead back. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. On play action, Young. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he goes out right around the 39. Second and six coming up. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And a pretty good burst there as they get this across midfield and down to the 46. down young he'll find feeling work in the middle very sharp here to start this drive three for three yeah i like the way he's running this two minute drill very sharp very precise in throwing the football here comes second down at five young Adam Thielen, back-to-back -back catches. It's time to win here. Are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back and they're picking up and moving the ball downfield. And they got to start bringing a little pressure to us a quarterback. Plenty of time. Of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. They go back to the ground with Sanders. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts 
as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Here comes second down. Another run here with Sanders. And they move this all the way down to the nine. And they'll come up now. This is second and long. Here's Young. Shark's got it, left side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On third down, they turn to Sanders. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. A big one coming for kicker Eddie Pinheiro. This to take the lead here in the final minute. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Turpin now to return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Prescott. Pass is 10, but he's still able to bring it in. Now inside the 25, CeeDee Lamb. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And they can't bring him down. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's first and 10. Now Young. He's going to let it fly. This is caught inside the 15. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final battle of the fourth. Wow, wow. Well, that is the definition.
transition, Charles, of delivering under pressure. The game-winning potential. There's still a little time left on the clock, but the potential game-winning drive, and it was well executed. I think we're going to remember this possession for a long time. We've called a bunch of games, but how about how they got it done down the stretch? Absolutely terrific. Barring some type of miraculous play in this last half minute, I think that touchdown just earned them the win. They really came up clutch when they needed it. Time of factor here late. He'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes it's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And brought down, but not before he gets a good gain and a first down, up shy of the 40. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. ball game comes to an end on that last play Charles they were on the wrong side of midfield they needed something near a miracle and they couldn't get it done yeah the effort that was good very good in fact they were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity 